this is Shauna from Aprons and Heels blog and I'm so excited to share with you how I prepared this wonderful and delicious Escovitch fried fish. So first of all, I had my fish, it was parrot fish, and we washed it in some water and vinegar uh, just to get rid of some of the scent. And then we used, for my seasoning, I used garlic powder, salt, and black pepper. Mixed those together and then I just put it on the fish. As you can see there, I sort of mess, messed up a little bit because I didn't take all the fins off, but I did remove them um, as you will see later on in my video. So first of all, I place some garlic and pepper into the frying pan and this will help to extract some of the nice, wonderful flavor from the garlic and also to give the fish a kick and that will be soaked inside the bones of the fish. As you can see, I'm placing the fish into the pot Basically, I try to make sure that the oil is very hot before I put the fish in because this can result in the skin of the fish being taken off. And then when I put them in there, I start to move it around a little bit because this helps to prevent the fish from sticking to the bottom of the pot. Um, usually I try to fry like three or so uh, fish together because it does make me finish faster. And then also I cut my fish in half because that also helps with uh, the serving size. Most of my children, they really don't necessarily like the fish, but it does help. So as you can see, after we're done frying, it comes out to a dark brownish color or a nice golden brown color. It's actually done that way because my husband do prefer for it to be fried very dry. Uh, most times the natural juices of the fish is gone with the longer you fry it. So it depends on your particular liking. You can go ahead and fry it accordingly. So that's my fish. It's completed. And now we are going to take care of setting up our Escovitch sauce. As you can see here, I have my onions, I have peppers, I have hot peppers, I have shredded carrots that I bought at Walmart shredded. Uh, but if you are so inclined, you can do julienne carrots and it, that just does the job just as well. So I'm cutting my onions in circles, in a circular pattern, because it does look better for, for me personally. That's just a preference that I have. If you want, you can also do them in half. And then I also cut up my hot scotch bonnet peppers. As you can see there, I try to cut away from my finger and I make sure that my finger does not touch anywhere. Um, where there's open any of the, um, the, the, the seeds or anywhere there's, um, the pepper opens because that will definitely cause some damage if you touch your eyes afterwards. Even if you use soap to wash your hands, sometimes it can become hazardous. So you may want to make sure that you try not to touch anywhere that the pepper touched because that can be a disaster. So as you can see, I'm using an assortment of colors because that helps as far as allowing um, the, the, the dish to look very nice. It does add to the aesthetic value of the, the dish. I use red, I use green, I use yellow, and I use orange. And I do the same thing for the um, regular peppers as well. For the sweet pepper, you wanna make sure that you sort of um, cut it thin and uh, do it also in circles just for that uniformity and so on. Um, if you don't have a full pepper as I did in this case, you can just do half of the pepper as well as a part of the um, modification of the dish. Guys, this is going to be amazing. So as you can see, um, you're cutting them in ribbon, si ribbon sizes and nice and thin. And then after you are finished cutting the peppers, the next thing that you want to do is to sort of just uh, move the, um, the onions from, you know, usually as you mix in it, it will come apart, but I like to do that before. Whichever way, it doesn't make a difference to the dish. From there, I'm placing the onions into the pot. And as you can see, the onions, the, 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 everything goes in all at once. And then while pouring the vinegar, you want to make sure that you cover the vegetables at least three quarters of the way. I don't necessarily have a measurement to give you because it depends on the amount of vegetables that you have, but just make sure that it's covered at least three quarters of the way. 
And then I also added a quarter cup of olive oil to that. You didn't see that in the video, but that's what I did. You place it on the stove for about three to five minutes, and then you put the cooked sauce over the fish. So I first put on the vegetables and the seasoning on the fish first, or what I call the pickled um, vegetables on the fish. As you can see, just spread it out on every single one. Make sure that it touches everywhere so everything can benefit from that absolutely sumptuous flavor. And then, guys, I just want to let you know that to modify the dish, if you are not necessarily a fan of very hot Escovy sauce, you can modify the dish by removing the seeds from the pepper. That is where the heat comes from, and um, you can increase the heat by adding more seeds to the dish. But if you remove all the seeds, you will just be left with the flavor from the pepper and not necessarily the heat or the, the spiciness from the pepper. And so that's one thing that you can go ahead and do as you make adjustments to the dish. So once I've completed pouring the pickled vegetables all over the fish, I will then proceed to pour some juice on top, the juice from the sauce on top of the fish as well. Especially for those individuals who like to fry the fish dry, you don't necessarily like it dry. This is where it helps to soften the dish and I believe that it came out pretty well. So guys, you can serve this fish with either your rice and peas, which is the way I like it, or you can serve it with uh, some festival. Uh, let me know if you want my festival festival recipe. I did do this one from the box, but I can make it from scratch. So if you're interested to learn how to make festivals, you can just hit me up in the comment section below on this blog or you can reach out to me via direct mail.